Good morning, guys. That's right, you guessed it. Another scorcher of a day here in Florida. The high is 96 today. So, we'll get through it as usual. It's just going to take a little bit of air conditioning for me. So, today we're stepping inside this shed. Hopefully, the light will adjust a little bit. Um, but I finally got... Not finally, but the caulk came in. Uh, I ordered it from Walmart along with that oil that I showed you guys in yesterday or two days ago's vlog. So this is what I'm going to use. It's just standard DAP. This is a 40-year paintable, flexible, strong, multi-use, um, waterproof silicone. And I bought it in clear. That way, you know, when I do it, you don't see... Because well, if, if I did it in, like, white, you would see a whole bunch of white everywhere. It's just not going to look too good. So I'm just going to kind of fill in any little gaps. Fill in these holes. That way we have more of a waterproof seal and everything I have in here will stay dry. Like I said, it's not too much, just, you know, like a wood splitter. Um, so a lot of this stuff comes with me on the road. I, I bring the chainsaw with me. Um, sometimes the canopy goes with me, depending on what we're doing. It just depends. But either way, whatever I can keep in here, I want it to stay dry. It's kind of the whole purpose of buying a shed, you know? So I'm going to get this all set up and caulked. Well, that didn't exactly go... I mean, it worked. I re everything, but it wasn't... I don't know, the tube says it's clear, but it comes out white as snow, so I don't know. I don't know if when it dries it turns clear, but right now it ain't clear. Anyway, we're going to let that dry for a while. Sam wants to go out and get the car, um, she wants to power wash the mats and stuff like that. They're all dirty, and we're going to do a quick vacuuming out. We're trying to keep the car nice and clean. Plus, I had, the, I had the dogs in there yesterday for the trip, so we're trying to uh, just... If you, if you don't keep up on the dog hair, it, it piles up and then it's very difficult to get out. So we're just trying to keep up with the whole car and keep it looking good. So last night we made a big, not big ups, a little ups, but I don't want the animals to start getting used to it. We, uh, maybe cute. yeah, maybe if we're cute, right, okay. Uh, we, so we had Wendy's a couple days ago and I forgot to, well yesterday really, and I forgot to put the bag inside because we left it on this table. And then we came out this morning. No, I just came out now. Oh. Okay. Oh, well, we noticed that the drinks fell. So I asked him, I said, oh, what happened that the drinks fell? And he's like, oh, I don't know. So then I just came out a little while ago, and I looked all the way back there, and I felt like somebody dumped stuff on the property and trying to harm the dogs. Yeah, I always think the worst. <laughs> so I walk over, and I'm like, what the hell's the Wendy's? So something went through it. Some, somebody enjoyed my half of my burger. Yeah, so an animal must have grabbed her thing, and the dogs were barking last night, so they were yeah. trying to tell us something. I just looked right here. I never looked that far back. Yeah. I won't be able to see anyway. <laughs> so they grabbed this and had a meal. So I got a, and we, we never leave stuff out. It, it was just honestly an accident, but, you know, again, I don't want... I don't want him to go tell his friends and then they come back and, you know, at night I let the dogs run out for a little bit to use the bathroom. I don't need anything attacking them. I don't want to have to kill anything. Uh, but, you know, these are my dogs and I'll do what I got to do. It's country life. But we're uh, in the middle of making a little trail here, a little path. And Sam is cleaning up. She's raking. So eventually I want to have, like, I don't know, some kind of nice little, like, either a stone walkway or some kind of paved walkway which would be cool and then uh because right now there's a couple things in the way i got the stump that i have to cut out this tree grew in sideways there was a huge tree running out that way and i just cut it right there for now but i eventually want to dig around this and cut this out because it's just ugly and it's a tripping hazard so i to get rid of that so back here in this section I eventually want to get, I want to build some kind of like little shelter. That way the generator will always be covered and I won't have to worry about our gen tent too much. Because right now when it rains, I got to run out here and put the gen tent cover on. Because these generators, a lot of people have questions. They're, they're not supposed to get wet. Usually there's like a sticker somewhere or in the manual and it'll say, don't leave it out in the rain. And I know a lot of people, especially food truck people, they'll say, oh yeah, I leave mine out in the rain all the time. Never have an issue. And that might be the case, but you know, as much as we use this generator, I'm just not, it, it's just not worth the, the risk to me to, to ruin it. So, plus it'll, it, this is pretty shady over here as you can see all the trees, but um, it'll be nice because it'll keep it out of the sun too. And same thing with the gas cans, I'll be putting those in there and you know, also I'm gonna, I don't know how, but I'm gonna build some kind of soundproofing thing because 
even though this generator is not very loud, on camera I notice it sounds really loud. But this microphone is very sensitive, so it picks up way more than <laughs> the generator is putting out. But, you know, we sleep right here. Right here is the bedroom inside. I can hear it. It's not very loud, but I can hear it. Um, so I, you know, yeah, you hear a low hum, exactly. So I, I eventually want to build something to cover this and soundproof this. It'll, you know, pretty much be like a divider a little bit. And Sam has something to say. I've been going back and forth on getting utilities here because if we, for running this generator 24 seven during the summer, it's 600 a month just for that. That doesn't include us going food shopping and all that other stuff. So we got a quote for a well and it's 8,500. And the issue is that if we just wanted a well and not electric, our generator won't be able to power the well. It's a 50 amp um, well. So in order for us to get power here, you have to have the well first. So I keep going back and forth if I want to do that or not. We did gain a lot of subscribers for being off grid. So I would hate to lose you guys by going on the grid. And like I was telling him too, is that we're not going to be here during the summer. We're only going to be here during the winter, which when you're in Florida in the winter time is amazing. And we're up north. So we're going to be feeling it during the like nighttime. It's going to get cold. It's going to at least be in the thirties. So I'm trying to like see if the cost will match with what we want to do, but I don't think it's going to with us not going to be here during the whole summer months next year. So it's kind of, you know, I'm going to, we're in a pickle a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The fuel cost definitely sucks. It's about, it's about $20 a day. You figure, you know, seven days a week, it's about 150 a week. So, but, uh, it is what it is. And you know, like, like I said in other videos, I'm not going to sit here and roast and the dogs need to be able to cool yeah, down. If I, didn't and sort have of the, if I didn't have the dogs and it was just me, I can deal with it as long as I am in shade. And then plus I have the power stations and that alone runs the fan for a good amount of time. So I can sit out here in the shade with the fan on me and I'm fine. But Milo is really bad when it comes to the heat. He really can't breathe. And I don't need him having a heat stroke or Cody. They can be out here for a little bit, probably like 20 minutes the most, 20, 30 minutes, depending what time of day it is. And then they want to go inside to cool down. So if I don't have the AC on and I'm not running the generator and then I have them wanting to go inside, it's not fair for them to put them inside. And they're like, where the hell's the AC woman? Right. <laughs> so we don't want to keep running the generator all the time for the dogs. So I got this fire going and we're going to roast uh, Cody and Milo. <laughs> I got a, I got a nice beefy stick from Milo because he's a little chunky. <laughs> And we got a little twig for Cody. And I got a little twig for Cody, and we're gonna make a little stand, and uh, we're just gonna, you know, put them on here and slowly rotate them and smoke them out, and uh, have ourselves a little, a little barbecue. Yeah, a little Frenchie dinner and uh, Chihuahua. I don't know what he's gonna Toothpick. provide. He's so freaking small. There's probably no meat on him anyway. <laughs> right, Milo? What do you think? Can Can you just come over here for a minute? Hey, I just gotta show you something. Come here. No. Hungry. No. Okay. All right. What else do we have to do on this property? I don't know. We we want to get a lawnmower because our weed eater, I don't know. I don't feel like it does what a weed eater is supposed to do. I feel like it just grabs the vines. Again, this is the person that doesn't ever use the weed eater. I did. What, one time? Two. So, <laughs> it, it, it is kind of a hassle. Um, some of these... It grabs the right. vine and then lets it go. Yeah, we have these. Let me see if I can find one. Um, we have those sharp, they're thick. And they're sharp, thorny vines. They're, they're like these, but some of them are like super, super thick. And the weed eater just, it's, it's electric. And it's not like a, a very heavy duty, a gas weed eater where I can cut through a ton. So, you know, if I had a lawnmower, I'm like, it's just a push mower. Cause I don't have, you know, a ton of grass to cut. So if I could just kind of clear this section right here and do all this over here and then clean this area up with a lawnmower. I mean, I could probably do it in a half hour. That way it helps the dogs. They won't get caught on thorns and get wrapped up and in vines. And even with us too, when we're walking through it, we sometimes it scrapes your yeah, leg and stuff. Yeah, our feet get kind of beat up. You guys like my feet? I was thinking about signing up I like up how for... we're wearing sandals. When we yeah, <laughs> I'm very, I'm very, uh, I'm so manly off grid that I just wear flops. And we just the get in the lovely branches yeah. and yeah, and then I can go right through our shoe. We yes, love it. and then I and then I complain that the mosquitoes are getting me. <laughs> well, if we wear pants, forget it. You're freaking sweating bad. Yeah, I have been meaning to invest in some nice boots. I just like I told you guys, I hate going out, so I might just order some well, online. I have some, but it's so hot, and I don't like when my I don't like wearing socks. 
I don't know, my, I just don't like the way they feel and my feet can't breathe. So I hate wearing socks and plus boots on top of that. I'm a hippie, I like being barefoot, I like my feet breathing, but over here you can't. I'm gonna, I'll regret that really quick if I walk barefoot. <laughs> What's going on over here? What are you doing? <laughs> That's a pretty big tree for you, Sam. Oh, she's lo we are so not prepared. <laughs> We're using flops. And I'm wearing jammies. Oh my god. We should probably put some shoes on. <laughs> so pro tip for all you guys who have pets. Um, this property sat vacant for, I guess, a long, long time. We're the, we're the first ones that uh, are living on inhabited it. it and living on it. Yeah, so um, the more and more we walk around, and we try to do rounds quite a bit to make sure everything's Every cool. Every day you should. Yeah, especially if you have a small property. Um, oh yeah, if we have five acres now, you'll have to see me do that. Yeah. <laughs> so we do our rounds, you know, we make sure there's no holes in the fence and the dogs aren't able to get out. But today we came across these. These are mushrooms, wild mushrooms. Um, and these are poisonous to the dogs. So anytime you see wild mushrooms growing, you gotta definitely pick them up and either i don't know if these are edible or not i i'm not really a huge mushroom person but you know we just pick them from the stem all the way at the base and then we throw them out in the garbage let's do some shrooms man oh yeah we're gonna be tripping <laughs> and then uh we also i guess sam already grabbed it but we we've been finding empty beer bottles too yeah I, it's in here they're the you know no label on it or anything no david mulaney who you said David Mullaney? You don't know who that is? No. It's the Bud Light guy. That's dude. not David. Dylan Mulvaney. Dylan. Who the hell's David? I don't know. Oh, I've seen another man named David. <laughs> Knew it. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna tuck these in the garbage. And uh, that way the dogs stay safe. But yeah, I just wanna give yeah. you guys a PSA, just in case you don't know. I don't know. And the beer, you know. you know, the beer bottle thing kinda sucks because if they break and the dogs step on it, it could do some damage to them, to us. And it's just not good. Anyway, there's a scooters that we want to try. We haven't been there in a while. Actually, we haven't been, there, been there ever, actually. Yeah, this, this is new to us. It's like those really little tiny coffee shops. It's a ways away. It's, it's quite a bit of a ride, but it's going to be nice to get out and we'll be in the air conditioning. The dogs will have the air conditioning here. And uh, we got to throw out garbage and fill up a gas can. Yeah, so try to knock out a whole bunch of things when we go out, make it really worth the trip. All right, so on the way there, I looked at their menu, and even when we got there, I still didn't know what I wanted. And usually when we go to a new place, I like going inside, that way like the menu is like right in my face, and I don't feel pressured being in the drive-thru, but they don't have it inside, it's only a drive-thru. So it took us like, what, like two minutes just to figure it out. It took you like 25 minutes. <laughs> I, I wanted to try, it's called a fruit and ice smoothie, but I didn't see it on there. I'm gonna I'll probably try it next time. So I got a caramelicious. I love caramel. So I got an iced caramelicious. This I don't know how much mine was. Thirty-seven ninety-nine. And Sean got um, a peanut butter brick something. A something. peanut butter crunch, okay, or blended something. Peanut butter blended. I think it's called. It's really good. So for both of our drinks, it came out to ten dollars. Yeah, it was expensive. Which everything is getting ridiculously expensive now. We went to KFC for lunch earlier. And I got chicken tender meal, and he got drumstick meal, and what it came out to like 25, 25 bucks. Yeah, we gotta stop eating now. Yeah. So next time when we come back tomorrow, because we have to head to the post office tomorrow to pick up some stuff. So I'm probably gonna go food shopping because we don't really have a lot. That way we don't keep eating out because it's re it's getting out of hand with how expensive everything is getting. Even McDonald's got expensive. The breakfast for two of us is about twenty dollars. Yeah. Yeah, the big breakfast with hotcakes used to be like, used to be like four or five bucks, guys. Now it's like nine dollars. But you know, we know it, everything went up in price or whatever, but the quality isn't there anymore. I don't know what happened. The price went up, but the food just isn't up to par with the price. I don't know. And there's still a major work shortage, you know. Nobody wants to work. We they had somebody at KFC, very sweet young man, helped this woman bring her food to her car. He was waiting for the manager to, for an interview. And I don't know how she didn't hire her mom, hire him on the spot. I mean, like, you only have two people in the back. She needed the help. The service yeah. was really slow. I mean, the food was great. The KFC was really clean. 
And but it's I mean you just saw that guy do a really nice thing for one of your customers. I immediately would have hired him on the spot. Because now he's going I saw he didn't have a car, so now he's walking to probably the next place to put an application in. And it's hot out. So this poor young man is going store to store and hopefully he found a job today. You sound old. This poor young man. <laughs> hey, oh. I'm 31, that's really old. Alright, really? so, <laughs> so we're gonna head home and eat because I'm hungry. We got this, and now we're gonna go eat. It makes no, our lives just make no sense. Oh, that's what's great about being an adult, that you can get whatever you want before dinner. That's true. <laughs> Decided to stop off at the car wash. We're trying to keep this car pretty clean. You know, we're always in and out of it, and the property has uh, like mulch as the background, so kind of crack stuff in. It's a lot over here. But I washed the outside, Samantha likes doing the inside. A little bit of ADHD. <laughs> so I just let her do her little thing and I hang out and enjoy the sunshine. Alright, so we just got back. I gotta show Cody because he's crying. He wants to be on camera. Say hi. Oh, you do kisses. <laughs> Alright, so the drinks are pretty good. I actually enjoyed it. Uh, we did go to the car wash. <laughs> you wanna know who I was talking to? And we were worried about the dirt road, like, kicking up and that the car not being clean. But, oh yeah, it actually stayed nice. Nothing, no dirt or anything or sand kicked up, which is nice. There's a car wash over here that does the monthly thing. It's tw I don't know how much it is a month. And you can go as many times as you want. And then they have the different detail sprays and other stuff for the inside of your car, which I really like but we're gonna be gone next year for like six months. So it's like, it doesn't really make sense to pay for it when I'm gonna be leaving. So to clean this car, it was five bucks and then a dollar 75 for their vacuums because I wanted to vacuum it. I didn't want to wash it because I knew that sand was gonna kick up or I thought sand was gonna kick up, but we wound up washing it anyway. I completely forgot, but I'm really happy that nothing kicked up. Now, tomorrow, we have to go to the post office. So, anyway, so we got to do that tomorrow because I want to grab everything out of the post office before they, our P.O. box, because they hold it for 15 days and then they send it back. So, I don't want that to happen because we have a sponsorship with somebody. I'm just going to say, I'm just going to leave it at that and they sent us something and I want to make sure we grab it before they send it back to them and they're like, what, what's going on? Why are we going to get this back? So, there's somebody near the post office that's selling an RV tote and if you don't know what that is, it's it's a tote on wheels and it connects to your valve for your gray and black tank and it you dump your tank into it and then you transport it to go dump it. So as you guys know, we don't have, we're completely off grid. There's no septic or anything. So about a week for the gray tank, depending how many times we shower and about two weeks or so for the black tank. And I don't wanna have to haul the RV to an RV park or Loves or truck stop, whatever just to dump. So I found somebody near the post office that's selling one. I, I, he had it up for 55. I was just curious if he'd go a little lower because you know, you never know. And he actually did. And I'm getting it for 40. And those things are crazy expensive because I was going to buy one brand new off of Amazon. Sorry, lovely GoPro battery died. And once it's down a certain percentage, it just turns off. So I offered him 40 bucks and he actually said, okay, I was surprised. If he didn't say, okay, if he said, no, I was going to pay the 55. Uh, they used it three times. They said they sanitized and cleaned it and there's nothing wrong with it. And that whenever they camp, they have full hookups. So there's no point in them having it anymore. So that'd be really great for us to have because you know how annoying it's going to be to have to pack up everything in the RV and have to go drop it, go and dump it. Cause you know, once you're sitting for a while, you put all your stuff on the counters and whatever else, cause you're stationary now. So I'm really excited to get that tomorrow. I'll show you guys that once we get it. Hopefully it fits in the trunk pretty good. So we, got, we got a small trunk and we have to bring the dogs because it's a, it's a pretty deep ride from where we're at to where we have to go for the PO box. There's Milo back outside, chewing on the stick. Having fun, Milo? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna hang outside because it's actually nice out now and this is the only time that I can. Early in the morning and early in the evening during the, afternoon you can't it's just too freaking hot so i'm gonna hang out here with the dogs cody's gonna hang out in his stroller <laughs> you're in it you're in the stroller <laughs> his ears went up 
Well guys, the sun is setting on another day and it is finally cooling off, which is nice. Uh, yeah, if, if it could be like this all day, I'd be great. I can't wait for the winter time here. Like the high is like 70, 75 for like two or three months and then it goes back up. But um, man, it, July and August are coming. It's, it's gonna be rough. It, it, it usually gets near 100 almost every day and high humidity. But we have the generator if we need to cool off and we can always go and get a snack or a drink somewhere or whatever. So we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to put an ending on this video. I'm just letting the dogs run around for the last couple minutes before it gets too dark. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.